Hi everyone! In this video, we're going to talk about watching the bird box cameras on the TV. Well, why would we watch bird box cam cameras on a TV? Well, first of all, modern day TVs are designed very big, so the image are more detailed when we see it on the TV, because it's bigger. And secondly, TVs are large and they are not that exhausting for our eyes to look at. If we look at for a long time on our phones, our eyes will feel dry, exhausted. And third of all, uh, most bird box camera users are senior citizens and they have a habit of watching TV. They use TV more than using a tablet or a smartphone. And also, they enjoy sitting together, gathering around, watching TV and, you know, giving out comments, talking about the, the things they like. So, people would like to watch more on TV than on, you know, small remote devices. What are the ways of watching on TV? Well, there's a traditional method, which is using an analog camera. This method is not that, doesn't provide that clear images, videos is kind of out of date. Second one is using IP cameras like the wireless bird box camera over here and the PLE bird box camera. So the Wi-Fi wi -Fi signal and Ethernet cable signal. They provide high definition resolution and recording, night vision, adjustable lenses, microphones, a lot of features built inside. But these require some application operations, you have to use it on your smart smartphones, tablets, and a lot of seniors are just not that good with modern technology. The softwares will make, give them a headache, and it's just too much. They are convenient though. And the third one, which is a more advanced method, is like a combination of the IP cameras and analog cameras. Oh, it's the HDMI bird box camera. And then, you can see that the connector here is kind of like analog systems. The, connect the connector here is kind of like analog systems. In this case, we can tell that we might have to use an analog setup to help this work on our TV screen. So how would this work? Well, first, you have to know that this will help us, this little box right here, can help us transmit the signal and let it be able to transmit to our television using an HDMI cable. And HDMI is really convenient. It helps us transmit high definition signals so all our images on our television will become high definition. So we use this, this kind of connect the HDMI bird box camera to our cord. You can see like conventional analog cameras power, power, audio, and then video. So we connect the video to the input right here. And then we use an HDMI cable. Really common these days. Really easy to purchase and it's not that complicated to use. Connect it with our converter. And then just simply connect this to one of our monitors, our TVs, anything that has an HDMI port. So this is like the whole kit. So we do have the HDMI bird box camera bundles com coming with all of these. The other thing is though, because it's like an analog system, we have to use an external speaker to let the sound come out. But it's not that complicated because if we have experience with analog systems, these like extra sound system would be already existing and everything else will be very familiar to you, so not hard to operate this setup. And also because we're using, you know, these two, these cameras look all the same, it also has high definition resolution, adjustable lenses, night vision, and the microphone right here for, you know, listening to the birds. And also has like recording features if you're connected to one of your recording devices. So this is a really convenient setup for a senior, senior, seniors. The seniors will not have to operate any kind of tech software here to let this work properly. And alright, this is pretty much it for the HDMI bird box camera. And if you guys have any more questions about this camera, you can leave them in the section below. And thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.